Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you're wonderful, I love you all. Today I'm talking about what the emissaries have said about where we are and the situation that we're in right now. I'll tell you all about it on the other side. So the emissary said, energies are really high at the moment and the bodies are falling into decay. Okay, decay. And at the same time, the awakened souls, the new people joining our movement are increasing ever, ever more. They likened these new people like little plants, like little seedlings. And what they said is that the energies are so wonderful at the moment. Like imagine a plant being in the perfect environment and it's growing really quickly. That's where they say that we are. The, because of the energies that are really enhancing the Great Awakening. Okay, and we, remember, we are creating those energies as well. You know, so we're doing a good job. You, you are doing a good job. So keep it up. Keep it up. But they said, understand that the energies that are helping the people to grow and to awaken, those energies are extremely damaging to the bodies. Because just as we thrive in that kind of energy, the bodies actually fall into decay in those energies. And what they said was that the, the bodies themselves are, are, are in disarray at the moment because they can't live in this energy. They can't thrive in this energy. And the beings that are behind them, that's what the emissary said, the beings that were behind them, guiding them, are no longer there, right? Now, that's what uh, I heard Robert, the astrologer and psychic and all of that, he was saying the same thing, that lots of the backup energy that they had, the backup powers, the evil ones, they're not there. And so what we've got is this group of baddies who are no longer in lockstep, like they were. They, and you can see it all over, I mean, they're just, they're, the clashing, the, the contradicting one another, it ain't good. It's not good for them. And that's because the energy isn't making them thrive. The energy is making them decay. And that means that the leadership is falling into disrepair. I saw, I don't know, you know, it's, it's now viral on, even on mainstream, they're reporting it and they're saying, that there's this conspiracy theory going around that Joe Biden is not the real Joe Biden, right? Hilarious. And the, the key one, I mean, all you have to do, anybody, anybody can see that it's not the same guy. He's even got a different signature. And, and every time you see him, something's different with his face, like something weird. Can you remember when suddenly he had these two big lumps on his chin, like, like, they look like testicles hanging. And I think they had to sort it out. Anyway, it might have been the mask that that person was wearing. It had big jowly, testicly like um, bubbles on his, on his chin. But it's a disaster every time he comes out. Apart from speaking a load of gobbledygook, he's also like, looks weird. He looks weird. You know, and sometimes he's not blinking and all of that. And I don't know what, I mean, the masks are good. You can blink with a mask, but he's not even blinking now. So the, the, the one video, have you seen it where, right, every time that, that Joe Biden talks, he talks a pile of shit. He can't pronounce his words. He slurs his words. He doesn't know what he's saying. He can't finish a sentence. And then out comes this interview of him chatting away, waxing lyrical, talking without slurring his words, very beautiful. The problem was that there was Joe Biden at the top, or the man, the face professing to be Joe Biden. And then on his neck, the bottom half of his neck was clearly a black man, okay? And now, I mean, this white line that went across like that, and it was all black. Now, people are saying it's AI. Could it be a mask? Normally the masks come down to the top of the body. So quite what was going on with his neck. But I looked at it and I thought, my God, is that Obama with a Joe Biden mask on? Because he was speaking really nicely. 
because they say that Obama's behind everything that Joe Biden does. And I thought it'd be quite funny, you know, to just just put a mask on for God's sake. Let's have a conversation that's that's understandable. So all of that's coming out in the mainstream about Joe Biden. Like, is he, you know, will the real Joe Biden please stand up? And so all of these like weird things now are starting to come out. When I, when I listen, I listen to the news that we're talking about these conspiracy theories about Joe Biden not being the real one. And they said, and this thing's gone viral, it's gone viral on the internet. And by a man, right, so they mentioned the person who made the video go viral, by the man on Twitter, formerly known as X. And so that was, that's the first slur, it's on Twitter, so they, we shouldn't take it seriously. And then they said, and more, Trump's son, I can't remember which one, he follows this man. And they mentioned it twice, like in the main headline, like it's spoken, and then later on in the text. And I was thinking, is that your argument? That this, you know, this is like, don't believe this because Trump's son follows him. And I was thinking, is that the best that you've got? Is that the best argument that you've got? Don't don't listen to him because Trump's son follows him. Like, I, most people would think, well, that's probably a good thing. You know, that means he must be have something interesting to say. But for them, it was that was the deepest slur that they could they could make. It's like so weird. It's so weird. Now I know that the people who aren't awake to that suck that up. And they'll go, yeah, that's terrible. Oh my God, Trump's son follows him. Oh my God, it must be rubbish. But the, the, what I'm aware of is that the arguments that they've got, they never ever spend time saying, it can't be true because of this, this, and this, and this. They never do that. All they do is slur. It's fake news. It's got to be fake news because they said it was fake news on the news. They said it was fake news. These, you know, you can't. It's all deep fake stuff. That's what the woman uh, who represents uh, the press woman, who represents uh, Joe Biden, she's not that much better actually at vocalising things. She ain't that clever. But she said it's all AI fakes. That's all. So this interview that he did with a black neck, unless he just hadn't washed. You know, my, when when I was a kid, my dad used to say that. Look at this. Your neck's pitted. It's pitted. That's what you need. And you would sometimes you would get vim out, and and wash parts of my skin with vim. Quite what that was about, I don't know. But I think it was a it was a practice that was done frequently with children. You need you need you, you you've got it pitted in your skin. You need a bit of vim to get that out. Well, that's what Joe Biden needed on his neck. He needed a bit of vim to get that to get the white to match the brown. Uh, a bit like sort of what happened to Michael Jackson. Yeah, L little by little he's turning white. So that's where we are. The baddies are a disaster. They are a walking, veritable disaster. They make no sense. They have no arguments. And everything they do, everything they put together is just so patently horrible. I mean, even, even to people who are asleep. They would look at that and go, why has why is half of his neck brown? Okay? I mean, you can't not see that. And then we go, oh well, it's a deep fake. But hey, it was presented as a an interview that he did on the news. So strange. Although the news cannot uh, say that they haven't used deep fakes before and, and like false stuff. However, we'll leave that for people to make their own judgments about, but there, there's this awakening that's happening that's making people go, what the actual fuck is going on? And that's good. And that's a good thing. So we are little plants. And all of the people who are waking up are little plants. How do plants grow? They need light. We need to stay in the light. And we need the holy water. Yeah, we need lots of watering. We need good nutrition. So really, it's all about making sure that we give ourselves what we need to grow, okay? So we don't stagnate, and that's it. And trust that everybody else is growing behind us, and soon we'll be very, very tall wheat fields ready for harvest, whatever that means. I love you all, and I'll speak to you all later. Bye-bye.